Hi guys and welcome to Debbie's Rusty Brush. If you're new here, I am the owner and artist and I do furniture uh, flips and canvas art and smalls. Um, if it can be painted on, I paint on it. I do signs, all kinds of different things. So if you like these kind of videos, please hit subscribe, hit the little bell thingy so you get notified when I upload videos. And if you're not new, well, welcome back. It's been a hot minute since I put a video up. June has just flown. Um, as usual, other people have scheduled my time this month. Um, I had decided that I was going to do a booth reset. And in the process of getting ready for that, I ended up having three of the pieces I had planned to go in there so it sell. So I had to hurry up and do a few more pieces. Um, the reason that I'm doing a booth reset is that there was a pole going right up the middle of the entrance of my booth and I will show you pictures and talk you through what I've done. Um, but I had had it there since last September and I decided that it needed to be changed. And so I had to hop in. I did two weeks of uh, jumping in and just getting things painted um, for this reset. And then it took a couple days to do that. And in the process, my son-in-law got a new job. My daughter-in-law or my daughter called and said, when can you come help us pack and move? So I have been doing that for the last couple of weeks. And so I've really not been doing videos or anything creative. Um, but I am going to do uh, edit this video that I took of the shop and the pictures that I have um, so that you guys know what I partially what I've been up to and I will do a voice over on that and then we're going to get back into it and we're going to do some creative things in the next few videos coming up. I will be on vacation a week in um, July but I'm hoping that I have an extra video to be able to have ready to upload uh, the week that I'm gone. So hang in there and we're going to get started on the video now. Oh, and if you're wondering why I'm in the truck, I am in the Pacific Northwest and we have been having a major heat event going on. And my truck, she's air conditioned. So we're in here to film this part of the video. As you can tell, I'm a hot mess. I'm not even attempting to put makeup on these days because it just melts right off. So um, we'll get back to normal, hopefully soon. But in the meantime, here's this video for you. Thanks for stopping. In. Okay, guys, so as you can see, that pole goes right up the entrance of my booth. Um, and I had this table that I built the hutch on that has all of my stuff and that was on the inside giving me a nice area to hang things on on that back aisle but I decided to move that around and incorporate that pole to the center of my booth so here's that hi guys and what I'm gonna do right now is show you the new configuration of the booth and how I worked around that pole so I'm gonna get in here and we're gonna turn you around. And as you can tell, I'm hot and sweaty. We just finished. All right, we're gonna turn you around. And here is the pole. And I'm trying to move slowly so that we don't make anybody sick. But what I've done is I've moved the booth around to where that pole is in the center of my booth. So from the hallway here, as you're walking down the hallway, this is what you see. And so I moved this table that I had around this side and then opened up so I could have bigger pieces of furniture. So what we've got here is what we had on the inside of my booth before. And I'm utilizing all of this under storage as well as the top and this is just displayed but stuff to the gunnels and then as you come down this hallway i have the end here displayed and i had room for my bench under there and then i was able to fit in all of the furniture that I had recently painted 
and get that put in here so that it all fits. I did stack my tables on top of an existing table that we had. I, the only thing I'm not happy with is I did have to put this table in front of that one. Um, but I took a couple things home. I didn't want to take any more home. And then I have my ironing board table with my trunk underneath it. So, um, that Chucky doll is not mine. <laughs> um, so I think that this is going to be a much more cohesive use of the space. I definitely was able to get more high-end items in here with my furniture and still have all of the smalls. Um, I just took a tote of a few different things back and the furniture pieces that I had had in here for several months and that made room for these new pieces that hopefully will find a loving home. All right. So that is the booth, guys. And if you're in Boise area, I hope that you would stop by uh, Debbie's Rusty Brush at Boise's Best Marketplace. It's on Five Mile and Overland. And check out what we've got. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I will also have pictures of what the booth looked like prior to doing this move. The move took my husband and I about four hours between with both of us working um, but we are older and we are slower and so we did have to unload a lot of stuff and load a lot of stuff in so that's how long it took us and it was hot and it was sweaty but we got it done all right thanks for hanging out bye guys all right guys that is my booth reset um it took my husband and i granted we're older we toddle a little bit but it took us about four hours to get it all reset. We did take a few of the pieces of furniture that had been in there out. Uh, my skill has grown and so I wanted to get my newer pieces in there and so I just brought the other ones home and I'm going to put them on marketplace here locally at a steep discount to move them through and um, because I want to get started on some new projects. All right you guys thank you for hanging out again share this video with your friends, comment, um, leave a thumbs up. All of those help the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And um, we will see you again next week. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye-bye.